Hello YouTube family and welcome back to the Seasons of Life. This video will just be an update of things that have been happening. Like Lexi and I had a mother-daughter day and went ice skating and that was super fun. So I hope you enjoy. Lexi's first time in UP Mall. Are you loving it? Oh my god, they're skating. <laughs> they have everything. Taffy's outside now and putting pants in place. I got my second tattoo. Lexi went along for that as well. So y'all, let's get serious. Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a great day. It is February 22nd, 2024. So I wanted to make this video to kind of address something. Going forward, for those of you that watch our channel and our videos, um, well, you'll know that I was with Shane for a long time. We were actually together for 16 years. We were married 10 of those. Um, we divorced in, well, we separated in July. We divorced in December of 2023. So I just kind of want to come on here and tell you that there is somebody new in my life mine and my kids lives and so I don't know if I'm ready to like formally introduce him yet but since I'm putting my life on display on, on YouTube but through frosted glass house I just wanted to let you know that there is a new guy so in my videos, you may see him. Um, he makes me happy and he is good to my kids. So that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So there you go, the cat's out of the bag. There's a new guy. We took the kids and went on a little trip to Chicago, our first time being there ever. So here's a little documentation of that.
guys have fun. Did you have fun, Nolan? Did you have fun? Yeah. I like your fun. As long as I can be on my phone, it's fun. Nail. What's your fun? What's your favorite part? I don't know. The poo? I don't know. The Today it is a very nice day, so we decided to get on some chores. And one chore that needs to be done every springtime is cleaning of the chicken coop. I took one of those dusters, got all the cobwebs. I'll eventually clean these windows. Now we have to get all the poo that's built up. We'll save this, put it over in our compost which I don't know exactly where I want to put yet but I've been putting it over there and we'll add some more mulch I have this row of um, boxes blocked off I only allow the ladies to have three they're starting to lay eggs now so we need to keep up on it for sure this year I'm gonna to have to make them a better run Give them more area. Clean up my little spot. I'm gonna sell the pool. So I've decided to talk dad into hopefully letting me take this down. Then we'll have a big fresh lawn out here and I wanted to build a chicken tractor and be able to run some meat chickens. Um, but I'm probably going to fence in a good chunk of this yard so that I can let Milo run around in here. You see the chickens, they're starting to dig away at that. I had to chase two of them. Me and my daughters had to get them in a little bit ago. Huh, Nan? Which one did you catch? Susie. Which one's Susie? Let's see if we can find her. Susie. Susie. That one's Susie right there. So Susie and Silver was out. I don't know. I just call them whatever. <laughs> Susie's the only one that really has a name. But yeah, this is this was just meant to be temporary anyway. So we need to get something better for them. So this is Dad's part. So right here and all that's Dad's. Um, so all this I plan to have cleaned up. That's what I'll be doing a lot coming up here soon. <clears throat> I have to try to dig these two azaleas up. If I can't dig them up, I'm just going to have to tear them down or cut them out because all of this is coming out. And the addition will probably be out to where I'm standing. Hi, Pan. Hi, Tabby. You large and in charge, or what?
Hi, Cap. Hi, April. Yeah, she's outside now. <laughs> so, I'm getting ready for work this morning. And I thought that uh, I would just come on here and tell you a little bit how I feel about some things. Um, so about Shane and I and our relationship and our divorce. You know, without indulging too much of his personal information, because that's not my place. A part of me kind of feels like with you guys being our viewers um, and somewhat part of our story I feel like I don't know like I should explain a little bit of the why like why did it end and I know based on all the content that I've showed that um, you didn't see any problems, but I also didn't talk a lot about my relationship because <clears throat> that was private. Well, when it comes to our family members and our friends that also watch this channel, um, I want to tell you that I also, I, we weren't big on showing our relationship to anybody. So that's not just our viewers, that's also our family and friends. And in front of our family and friends, we would act like everything is fine as well. Which for the most part, him and I didn't really argue ever. Like we got along great, but our relationship was a, was a friendship and it was great. Like I, I loved that he was my best friend and I still look at him as a really good friend. Well, Shane suffers from a little bit of depression. And, and I was okay with helping him get through that depression because he was my best friend and because I love, I love him, I still love him. And because, I mean, <laughs> My major was psychology, and the human brain has always interested me. But what happened is that over the years, his depression started to take a toll on me. It, it just got to the point where it didn't matter what I did. I just felt like I could never make him happy. Like, even when he was happy... He didn't seem happy. And and that got to the point where like he was only happy acting when we were around people. And that was really frustrating. Behind closed doors, he didn't ever act happy. Like it got to the point where like my child would see his dad like last year. Shane was doing something and he smiled and was like enjoying himself and our son Skylar was like mom dad smiled and I know that it's a problem and like I said like I was there I wanted to help him through it he didn't want to get outside help for it and I'm like okay well then I can help you <sighs> what I started to notice was when we moved into dad's house the stress from living here and all of the things that we had to deal with because my dad is a hoarder and this is a small house. It just became too much. It was too much for me and I began to break down. And what happens when I begin to break down and I am my only support when literally my children are the ones that kind of bring me up, but even they were stressed out. And see, I realized that I didn't have a great support system when I worked for the Department of Child Services. 
because that job affects you mentally. And when I would come home and want to vent about my day, not disclosing any information, and I'm being told I don't care, that can affect you. <laughs> but dealing with that kind of stuff for 16 years really takes a toll on a person. And I'm just now getting to a point where my mental health is better. And let me tell you, throughout this divorce, my mental health has taken a toll because people, I mean, they see Shane and he's a great guy. You know, nobody sees behind closed doors what I've had to deal with. And, and he's not horrible. Like, I'm not even saying that he's horrible. I'm just saying, like, the mental stabs really gets to a person. And so not only did I have to deal with being upset because that's a big chunk of my life that I'm letting go of too, and I feel like a failure because I failed him, but I also have to deal with the repercussions of my family and our friends and everybody looking down on me. So all that to say that I feel confident again. I feel like I can actually breathe. And I'm still here for Shane. <clears throat> Anytime he needs me, I'm always here to talk to him. Have we had our fights? Yeah. Because any breakup, there's pain and there's messiness. Have we tried to make it better for the kids? Yeah, we have. Do I still look at him as family? Of course. Like, I'm always going to look at him as family. And I know that if he reached out and he actually got help by a professional, that he would be happy and he would be doing better. Right now, he's just going through a lot. Um, and I know that it sucks for him to see that I'm happy now. And because I, I am. I'm happy now. Like, like I said, I, I feel confident. I... I just, I feel like I can grow and it's crazy to me that just trying to help somebody else with their problem dampered that so much for me. And I almost feel guilty because I'm growing and I'm leaving him behind. But sometimes that's what you have to do. And I was so hesitant on doing that because I made a vow. I made a vow that we would be together and, you know, like we would help each other grow. But he wasn't really into helping me grow. So, you know, there's a lot of things about living in the North that's kind of cool. We have all four seasons. Um, so that means, you know, like we get to be a part of all the weather, right? So we still get garden time and I'm okay with that. But one of the things that I can do without is, well, yesterday it was so beautiful out. It was 70 degrees and I got to go out and look at my garden. the same as I do. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around. There's more that's to come in the season of life. Well, in a gardening news update, I found some organic sweet potatoes. And I have started to see if I can get those to root. And my ladies have started to lay eggs again. So that's exciting. <laughs>